Dr. John Sonigad from Western Kentucky University at this point. I'll just uh, quickly like to ask what academic programs are very relevant for the human resource needs of Africa, Nigeria, and the world in general? You know, that's a really important question. And this, this is my first time to Nigeria, but I've been coming to um, different parts of Africa oh, really? since the 1980s. And it's been a, an area of great interest um, you know, to myself. And, and we hope you're impressed. I'm very impressed. Okay. But I went to university way back in the 1980s mm. um, with a number of Nigerian students, and they were outstanding. Oh. You know, I played soccer with them. They were difficult to compete with on the field, but they were also very competitive in the classroom. <laughs> so, you know, and, and frankly, Nigeria, um, we have more students from Nigeria at WKU than any other um, country in the world. And the Nigerian students excel. They're just really outstanding students. But, you know, coming into um, the kind of academic coursework that, that I think really fits well, you know, for Nigeria and its needs, Africa and its needs, I think there are several programs that, that we offer. I mean, starting with agriculture, you know, looking around here, it's very clear to me, first of all, that there's tremendous opportunity but there are also a number of um, agribusiness organizations that are seizing on that opportunity. We have a very rich program in, in agriculture. We have our own farm. Um, we have um, the whole range of, of agribusiness from you know, managing cattle and um, uh, managing crops and so forth to agribusiness um, to you know, different ways of breeding and that kind of thing. So we have the whole range in, in, in agriculture. One of the things that has always impressed me about Africa is entrepreneurship. There are little businesses everywhere. Everyone is always doing business, negotiating, and so forth. I don't know that they necessarily see themselves as entrepreneurs, but studying business at a school like Western Kentucky really can help someone take that negotiation skill that looking for opportunities and help them refine it with much better skills in, in accounting, in financial management, in marketing, in human resources management, in overall management, strategic planning, strategic organizational development. Those are the kinds of things that, that we teach as well at Western that a number of, of Nigerian students are taking. We also, of course, um, as, as an applied universe, uh, research university, we have a number of applied engineering programs. So, for example, we have engineering technology management, right, that provides people with the skills. There's a lot of really new, confusing, constantly changing um, uh, machines and so forth that are coming online, a lot of electronics involved and, and that sort of thing. This degree helps people understand how that technology works, how to best use the technology, and what to look for when sourcing technology for the future. So, and then of course we have electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, architectural science. How about medicine? Pardon me? Medicine. Well, in the United States, medicine is a postgraduate degree. Okay. Right? And so, which is very different from much of the world. Because right out of top faith high school, students may very well be going into medical school. That does not happen in the United States. It's impossible. You have to do a four-year, a minimum of a four-year bachelor's degree. And then you apply to medical school, again, in the American system. And so, um, you know, so students going into medicine are coming in with a broad-based, scientifically focused education, and then they enter med medicine. So, we have a nursing program. We have a very strong pre-medicine program, preparing students for that postgraduate degree. Okay. We have public health, a very global public health. Um, we have physical therapy. We have communication disorders, which is a really important field that I think gets under underestimated. It's helping people if they have had an accident or they. Are, are born with a communication deficiency, they don't speak properly, they can't hear properly. It's helping people communicate much more effectively, learning to use 
the various tools that their body has. We have a very strong program, competitive program in that as well. Um, and then of course the social sciences, communication, like you do here. Yeah. But communication, communication is such, it's like food. All humans communicate, all humans eat, and we all communicate. And so understanding how to communicate, what people want to hear, how they want to hear it, and the way to get that across, and then thinking strategically about developing communication, those are the kinds of things that one learns in, in our communication program. Okay. And then of course public administration and political science, because I think the core to any successful country and economy is a trusted, stable government and trusted, stable structures. And I've been really impressed with Awakabom. Am I saying that correctly? Awakabom. Awakabom. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've been very impressed with Awakabom. You know, your infrastructure here is really outstanding. You know, I feel very comfortable. I feel very safe here. And these are the kinds of characteristics, you know, that good training and good education can foster so that everyone in the community can succeed. So those are some other, those are just a, touching on a couple of the programs that I think might be particularly relative to, um, relevant rather, um, you know, to students, um, you know, from Nigeria. Okay. Well, what do you 